What's up guys? And you join me Justin. And I'm driving <laughs> the Audi RS4. Now here in South Africa we don't like Avants or station wagons and I don't know why. They are good looking things and they offer a load of practicality. This one for example has a near 500 liter boot capacity and if you lower the rear seats that increases by an extra thousand liters. So there's space. I also think this car looks really, really good. Um, especially in this green color. You've got aggressive bumpers up front, nice big wheel arches, sharp character lines, and a nice sporty rear bumper with those two big oval exhaust pipes. Now, when you potter around town, the car is relatively comfortable, but when you come out here on a little back road and you've engaged RS mode, <laughs> it becomes a sheer animal. It's really good. The, through the corners, the car stays flat, level. You can really pinpoint where you want it to go. It's a really good car to drive and drive quickly. It rewards you for pushing it harder and harder. And that's because that 2.9 liter V6 up front delivers 331 kilowatts and 600 newton meters of torque. And the motor really loves to get going, especially when coupled to this new eight-speed automatic gearbox and the Quattro all-wheel drive system. This event will hit 0 to 100 in around 4.1 seconds, which is pretty impressive for a relatively large car. But I like the way that this car feels. It's comfortable even in its sportiest setting. I'm not bouncing around on the road. It's, it's nice. It's a really nice car to drive. Here on the inside, you have a very nice interior with wireless Apple CarPlay, nice RS Sport seats, a nice flat bottom steering wheel. Everything looks good. Everything is nice to touch. So I don't know why people in South Africa don't like these estate cars. I mean, they'd rather go and get a sedan. And while sedans are nice, this is equally as good to drive as a sedan just your dog can come too now, hold, hold on hold on uh, hold on I, I said that line I said that cliche line I said it's so nice to drive there's a lot of space and now your dog can come too like everybody on YouTube and on the internet keeps saying that about these high performance estate cars and I don't really think your dog should come with you in this thing I mean, for shit's sakes, it's a high-performance estate car. Like, I, I wonder what a dog's reaction would be to a high-performance estate car. Hmm. In order to test that theory, I need to get a dog. In order to see if it's good for dogs, I've got mine in the car with me. His name is Hamilton. Uh, it's not named after the racing driver, it's just I thought the name was quite posh. So I named him Hamilton. And uh, he really loves driving around in cars. So he should really love driving around in this Audi RS4 because it is an estate car and according to just about everybody out there, they reckon that estate cars are great for all the family and the dog can come too all right hammy is it quite it's quite comfortable back there hey yeah seem to be having so much fun are you just chilling you just okay you're just lying down now that's great all righty so it seems to me as if he seems quite happy, but I am in comfort mode. Let's see what happens when I use the new RS mode here on the steering wheel to liven things up a bit. It's in this mode that I think we're gonna have a few issues. Let's find out, shall we? <laughs> Are you ready, Hamilton? Are you ready to see what it's like when we go balls to the wall? Hold on, boy. Oh, 
doesn't look too good for old Hamilton back there. Seems to be falling around a lot. Are you okay, buddy? Now, I don't know if uh, this is a good idea. I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna... We're gonna call it on this test, buddy. I think we should go home. Alrighty, you've been a good boy. Alrighty, so there you have it. While the Audi RS4 is a fantastic car to potter around in, your furry friend will love it. There's a lot of space back here. There's even climate control for your dog. But if you are going to exploit the car's performance credentials, I don't know if your furry friend should come along. <laughs> Hammy, what do you think? Oh, there, I think there's a cat. <laughs> right, guys, from uh, Hamilton and I, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye.